On the set of axes below, solve the following system of equations graphically and state the coordinates of all points in the solution. I don't know how to do this one, actually. Psych! We gotta graph this system of equations, which means we gotta graph this group of equations. We can graph the first equation by realizing it's the equation of a circle. The equation of a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared, where h comma k is the center and r is the radius. So the right side is equal to r squared, so 25 is equal to r squared. If you take the square root of 25, you get r is equal to 5. So the radius is equal to 5. We can easily see that the k is 2 because y minus 2 is in the form of y minus k. But I rewrote the x plus 3 as x minus negative 3, so that way we can match up with the x minus h. Since the negative 3 is after the minus sign, our h is negative 3. But the next time you see x plus a number, h is just the negative of that number. And I've already graphed the circle with center negative 3 comma 2 and radius 5. Now we have to graph the second equation. I'll solve it for y first. I'll first subtract 4 and then divide by 2. We get y is equal to negative x over 2 minus 2. This means we have a y-intercept of negative 2 and a slope of negative 1 over 2, which means we go down 1 when we go to the right by 2. So down 1, right by 2. Down 1, right by 2. Or in the opposite direction, up 1, left by 2. Up 1, left by 2. And then you just connect those points with the ruler. Now we need the coordinates of all points in the solution. Well, the solution is just where they intersect. We've got 0, negative 2, and negative 8, 2. And remember, geometry is fun.